guys, welcome back to Doodle Line, and today we'll be drawing a smiley face split in half with doodling inside. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos on Doodle Line. Thanks. So I've so I've drawn the first half of the smiley face and I'll do another one over here and I'm going to add some detail to the face because all faces need detail. Got my little cheek. Now he looks all cute like he's from 1980s school. Then with the doodling we've got to We've got to go, say, like, you've got to draw lightly through the middle here and then draw to the way you want to do the other half of the smiley face. But as you can see, this line is curved. So with this one, you can't just do the same line, line curved on the inside as well. You've got to do it on the outside so it looks like they, when you put the doodling inside and put them together, they look like they're one piece, not all weird. So, like, said you gotta go it same way as this side adding the same people detail detail as last time and now that looks like wait one proper on the face and now with these in between the lines I'll put up we'll do some doodling I want to start off with a little fire and on the inside we'll do more fire just saying this will be just grey lead as it's like a sketch or something I'll do even better in a next video so, this is just going to be grey lead, not colour and text, um, black texture. Tell me what you want me to see, tell me what you want to see me draw in the next video down in the comments. So I've drawn this little guy with a crown and he looks kind of nice. He's got just a little tongue because I can't draw the whole mouth because of the smiley face. And the dog. I'll add some little diamonds to that. I will draw... Yeah, let's go for it. I want to go with the palm tree, so got to go one line coming out of wherever you're going to go with it, and one about that far away from there. Bring it down and get kind of thicker as you go. Do some shadow lines if you are drawing at home. This in. The title, as you can see, it's not a tutorial, but it's just me drawing some smiley face with doodling inside. Palm tree leaves. And that's the palm tree done. Then these little black lines not as just some weird thing on the palm tree, but as a shadow line coming from the palm tree from somewhere else, like the sun's reflecting on the bit that I haven't shadowed and that's the other side of the tree that I've darkened to make it look like a shadow. But it's darkened because the sun's not shining on it. Gone all, gone all science here. Okay. So, I think I'm going to add maybe another monster or two, 
and maybe some slime coming down here, monster up here and here. So I'm going to start with the slime. Sorry, turn to my pencil. Some splashes, a few drops, here and there. Maybe another little one in here. But that's the slime, and we don't do it up here because you can't drip. You gotta have something that it's dripping from, like the palm tree leaves, and it looks like the palm tree is kind of intoxicated. I'm gonna fix this up a little. Let me do some zoom on that. Maybe darken, thicken these lines a little, make it look like it's a hole with the doodling coming out of it. So. Yeah, time for monster. As you see, can see, I've gone like a centimetre and half or half an inch out of the lines I've drawn. These lines aren't complete, completely accurate. It's just what I'm tracing with. It's not, I'll like rub them out later on. But, actually, I might not. I might, in... Yeah, I might use these as part of the doodling, but I'm. You see how these are fainter lines than these darker ones? Yeah, because I did that because you don't. That's just like a, an outline of where you want to draw on the page. And you can go out sometimes and then rub it out sometimes. But I won't be rubbing it out because, as I said, it's just a sketch. With this guy, I'm gonna go with cat. I'm gonna be going backwards, make him look a little cool. And then I'm gonna go with this kind of eye. And be a sad face. Put a couple of teeth. The rest of his mouth. Now he's a damn monster. There may be a shadow here. I'm sorry about that. See, like my hand shadow. Yeah. So, if you ever come up with some designs for a monster, please send them in. Because I love to see them. And maybe I can interpret them in my, my drawing some time and I'll um, acknowledge you. That'd be great. So start practicing, all right? I'm gonna go, hmm. Oh, let's, for, let's not forget. Do the line, he's got it too. Hmm. I reckon we could go with a... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna keep this one surprised, you guys. You guys try and figure out what it is. May look like another smiley face, but... See, I've gone outside the line again. Doesn't really matter. I'll hold the page straight and it'll fly up. You guys won't be able to see the screen. I've drawn a flower, which is not really a flower because it's not got these different sized petals, but it could be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and black, I guess. And then Inside would be yellow because that's a smiley face. Just a traditional emoji smiley face. This last little bit, I think we'll go with some fruit. Let's go with a. Just curve that up a little. Bend it down. 
just throw some watermelon. There you go, watermelon. And to finish it off, this little spot here. Wait, how about we go up here? Let's go. Let's go to the boom box. Boom box, boys. So that's a bull box. And yeah, I think for this this little bit we should maybe go with some bubbles. Bubble boys. Maybe some dripping bubbles too. Like the slime. And I think we're done. As you can see, I've done a smiley face, do the inside, and that's good. Do line 2022. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and see you next time.